Welcome guys to Idle Games TV and we're gonna check out Necro Merger over here. Now this is not an idle game, but definitely you do want to give this game a try if you're a fan of the merge games. So basically you're going to be something like a necromancer, you're going to have this big monster, this green big monster over here. You're going to need to feed him, you're going to need to kill different kind of humans basically. So over here you're going to be able to unlock new and new humans, so the peasant, the knight, most probably the cleric afterwards and so on. And eventually you're going to kill them by uh, putting on them, basically make them fight with different kind of monsters that you will obtain by merging different kind of things. Now you're going to have a chicken, I'm going to talk about the chicken afterwards, but let's get into it. So over here, after you're going to touch the grave over here, you're going to consume some mana points but also you're going to need to merge different kind of similar things as well now eventually you're going to get the hang of it it's not going to be that hard you're just going to need to merge 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 what you're not going to use you're going to want to fill it with that big creature over there to that big creature my bad so over here you're going to want to feed him and as you can see he's going to have a snack and eventually you're going to be able to uh, unlock new and new features over here like for example you're going to get a chest and so on so please keep that in mind right now I need to find a mummy and in order for me to find the mummy I'm going to need to click on this shelf over here everything is as plain you just need to click it a bit in order for you to find new and new features regarding this game and it's not going to be that hard now eventually uh, as I said you're going to get the hang of it and you're going to be able to buy different kind of things from here now when you're going to see that this peasant over here for example it reaches 100% uh, you will see the peasant on your board what you're going to need to do you're going to need to kill it or the knight or the cleric and whatever after you're going to kill it you're going to get a chest and from that chest after you're going to open it you're going to get different kind of uh, coins let's say the ones that you can see on the top of the screen the blue ones the green ones the red ones the yellow ones and the black ones if i'm saying it correctly didn't went that far played it for a couple of days and uh, definitely if you're a fan of the merge games you need to give this game a try as i said now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch out for these things that you're going to be able to buy you're also going to want to uh, basically increase your mana capacity in order for you to have a bigger pile in order for you to do more summons in order for you to do more merges and it goes on and on and on now one more thing that you do want to merge over here is going to be this uh, basically these supply boxes that you're going to have so you're going to have supply boxes for uh, skeletons and zombies you're going to have supply boxes even for uh, eyes let's say so from the eye box so this one over here if i'm going to merge it quite a lot i'm going to get something but right now i need to refill it with uh, the rubies but i'm not gonna do that so every time you're going to merge two eyes you're going to get this one every time you're going to merge two of these things you're going to get a better one and so on and so on it's a merge game so it's not going to be that hard the one thing that you do want to keep in mind it's the quest that you can see over here now please keep in mind on the top of the screen on the left side uh, under the big box you're going to see what you're going to need to do to complete the quest please try to follow that guide in order for you to unlock new and new features in this game you're going to have the tier feast over here so eventually every time you're going to be able to complete this task you're going to be able to unlock new things new things you're going to also be able to increase your board over here in order for you to do more merges and so on it's not that hard of a game but eventually when you're going to get this chicken please watch out where you're going to place it because every 30 minutes so please keep in mind every 30 minutes it will lay a green egg <laughs> i know but from the chicken you will get spiders okay now you will need uh, nine squares surrounding the chicken in order for you to get as many eggs as you can that's the main idea don't place the chicken in the corner because you will lose and you will get only three eggs so try to place the chicken where you're going to have up to six uh, six sorry my bad nine spots free in order for you to get better and better rewards now what you're going to see you're going to get your all your rewards on the bottom of the screen where you can see that big big skull over there you're going to need to click it and they basically different kind of boxes will pop up out of his mouth now 
keep in mind that you're going to need to complete some tasks in order for you to get those chests. You can also get a free chest every day over here in the daily gift. You can also buy different kind of things over here and definitely you do want to do that. Uh, let's see, I need the eye one and over here I'm going to buy one with green stuff. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here in the shop and I'm going to buy one with golds. Now, here it is, what I uh, just said earlier, on the bottom of the screen you can see I'm going to touch it and here it is. I'm going to merge this thing and right now I'm going to merge it again and here it is. Now, keep in mind that every time you're going to see that, eventually what it does is the fact that you're going to uh, unlock new and new possibilities basically in order for you percent you're going to increase the percentage of the drop rate for that specific crate so depending what you're going to want to create you're going to increase the capacity if you're going to merge those crates as well now what i mean by crate is this thing over here and this thing over here now eventually as i said you're going to be able to buy them from here even the chicken i can buy it so i do need 30 more uh blue chips not 30 20 19 basically in order for me to buy a new chicken in order for me to merge that chicken and so on now here it is every time you're going to merge these things as you can see the percentages will increase and also you're going to be able to get new and new stuffs that you're going to be able to merge and eventually Okay, so as I said, you're going to find out over here every specific detail that you're going to need in order for you to basically increase the capacity, increase your product basically. But keep in mind that every time you're going to increase these things, so basically the grave over here, you're going to have a bigger, uh, let's say, consumption of mana portion over here. So please keep that in mind. And also over here, the same idea. So every time you're going to increase it, although it will give you a better opportunity to get better and better stuffs, please keep in mind that also the cost will increase. Okay, so that definitely will keep you thinking about what you're going to want to operate and so on. Now, as I said, please follow the quest. It's not going to be that hard. Please try over here to buy different kind of spells. So eventually you're going to see that you're going to increase different kind of capacities, different kind of things. And also you're going to want to increase the damage over here due to the fact that every time you're going to see the peasant on your board or your knight, you're going to want to kill it. That's the main idea. When you're going to kill it, like for example, the knight over here, you're going to get that specific crate. Now, every time you're going to kill the peasant, you're going to get the blue crate and so on. Eventually you're going to kill the cleric, better and better things and eventually you're going to see that it's going to get better and better. Now, keep in mind that you're going to have a lock chest. Now the one that you're going to see the lock on it, basically it's with ads. So every time you're going to see it, please click it, watch the ad and eventually you're going to get golden coins that you're going to want to have in order for you to buy more and more things out of the shop. That's the main idea. The, like the one that I have bought over here. Now the frozen minion over here, as you can see, this one is quite good as well. So you're just going to need to click quite, quite a lot. So you're going to need to play it. It's not an idle game. Please keep that in mind. It's not an idle game. You're going to need to merge quite a lot. Every time you're going to uh, basically decrease the capacity of your uh, mana, uh, mana well, let's say like that, you're going to have up to four options per day to refill that uh, that thing or the mana or the slime it's up to you but keep in mind that you only have four so depending on what you're going to want to fill up you're going to watch that ad it's not four for the mana and four for the slime it's four for both of them and most probably four for all three of them because on the top of the screen from what i can see most probably i will have uh, one more thing over there now guys please keep in mind it's not another game as i said give this game a try let me know in the comments below if you have played it and reach further please try to get this slime vat over here because obviously it will uh, basically generate slime for you and also this uh, mana pool over here will do the same thing for the mana so you do want these things on your board when you're going to go offline the maximum amount of the offline capacity that you're going to be able to gather it's going to be up to eight hours so definitely every eight hours try to come back collect not collect consume your mana or your slime and then go back again and so on now guys until next time please take care don't forget to subscribe smash that like button let me know in the comments below if you have played it let me know if this video was useful and let me know other other games that you do want me to try definitely i will try to make more and more videos regarding game content and so on until next time be safe out there Bye.